This is Colton at FlexArm Flex CNC, and today I'm going to show you how I took this simple part model and went through Mastercam to get a program and a machine simulation on one of our G series machines. So this part has 12.2 inch diameter holes. So I just used a number seven drill, which is 0.201. And since there's several holes, um, you can go through and click them all individually. But if you just hold down control and click the walls of one of them, it will select all of the holes that are the same diameter. That saves some time. But so this plastic part has an inconsistent amount of stock on the outside. So I'm roughing the outside profile with a contour ramp and I'm being a little aggressive since it's made out of plastic. And this pocket has uh, a max of a quarter inch radius in the corners. So I'm using a 3 8 end mill for both just to save space on the tool carousel. And then the finishing operation is just a contour that's going around the outside with uh, two spring passes. And that's it. But if you want a machine simulation for that, all you have to do is go over to the machine tab and click on this little arrow in the corner. And then here you can change all of your settings. Here you can go through all of these different machines that you want to use for the simulation, but we are going to use this G series. And then my finished part is in level one. And for the position, you can either pick automatic or you can put it in a specific location on the machine bed, but we're just gonna do automatic. And since this is just an example, I didn't do a fixture, but you can if you want. And then my stock is in level two. And then you just check this box and you can hit the green check to save your options. And then you can run it. And then from that, you get this simulation with the whole machine, and you can move around any of these parts that you want. But it's a lot easier to see the part if you hide all of that. And then for me, it seems like it works best in uh, NC mode over here, which reads the actual code. And then you can just run it. And the the actual material being removed doesn't load super quickly during the actual simulation just so it doesn't slow down the actual movements of the machine but when it goes through the whole thing it'll all be done and then you can just zoom in and look at your finished part when you're done but that's it so that's how I went through from this simple uh, solid model, making my program, and then going to a machine simulation on one of our G-Series machines.